On January 20th, 2017, the planet Jupiter, the king god of the beast, reached the birth canal of the constellation Virgo, the woman, as Donald Trump was being inaugurated as President of the United States. The moon reached the feet of Virgo at that exact moment, simulating a portion of the Revelation 12 sign. On that same day, Saturn, the dragon, crossed the line into the constellation of Phaecus, the serpent bearer. Then, from January to June 2017, both Jupiter and Saturn appeared to move backward in retrograde from our perspective on Earth, and then forward again, with Jupiter again reaching the birth canal line of Virgo on September 11, 2017. The significance of the birth of the Roman Empire's king god on September 11th can be traced back to the ambush that changed history, the defeat of the Roman Empire on September 11th, 9 CE, in the Teutoburg Forest by Germanic forces. That event marked, by some accounts, the beginning of the ascent of the German nation, which ultimately housed the Holy Roman Empire, the seventh head of the beast. And again, on that same day, September 11, 2017, both Roman king gods, Saturn and Jupiter, crossed the lines into Ophiuchus the serpent bearer and the birth canal line of Virgo. So we had two heavenly births of the beast in 2017. The first on the exact date of Trump's inauguration, January 20th, and the second on the exact anniversary of 9-11. In Roman mythology, Jupiter was the son of Saturn. Saturn, in Roman mythology, was the god who devoured his children as soon as they were born. According to the Bible, that is the dragon and the serpent, Satan. So it's interesting that Saturn entered the constellation of the serpent bearer on the exact date that Jupiter was born of the Virgin. And this happened not once, but twice in 2017. Because the planets appear to travel from Virgo to Ophiuchus from our perspective on Earth, this means Saturn is before Virgo and before Jupiter in 2017. In other words, the dragon Saturn is standing before the woman while the woman is giving birth to Saturn's child, Jupiter. Saturn devours his own children in the mythology and Jupiter is Saturn's child. That makes this positioning interesting in 2017. What's even more interesting is that Saturn will stand before Jupiter until Christmas Day in 2020 when Jupiter will eclipse and surpass Saturn. 2020 is the 1335th year from 685 when the abomination of desolation was set up, a possible coming fulfillment of Daniel 12.12. 12. 2020 is also the 400th year of the affliction. But the birth of Jupiter three years prior to Christmas 2020 on January 20th and September 11th, 2017, coinciding with his father Saturn the dragon's entry into the serpent bearer, is interesting to say the least. After Jupiter, Virgo then figuratively will give birth to Venus, the morning star, which also represents Jesus, on November 1st, All Saints Day, followed by the birth of Mars, the god of war, on November 29, 2017. This date is significant not only because it is the date that the United Nations voted to create the modern country of Israel, but more importantly because November 29, 2017 is exactly 70 years from the going forth of the commandment to restore Jerusalem and the start of those nations serving the king of Babylon. See Jeremiah 25 and Daniel 9. Again, on that exact 70th anniversary, the planet Mars will cross the birth canal line of Virgo, while the beast's king, Jupiter, 
will be at the feet of the woman. And finally, on the winter solstice, December 21, 2017, the bridegroom's sun will eclipse and cover the dragon Saturn. And four days later, on Christmas Day, Venus, the morning star, also representing Jesus, will eclipse and surpass the dragon Saturn. For more information on the prophetic significance of 2017 and 2018, see the playlist Bible's Countdown to the Meteorite and Rescue linked here. Thank you so much to those who make this work possible. If you'd like to support, the link is below. I hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you next week.